Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to another played up Halloween update tutorial. Now, this is going to be, based on the title, this is going to be a compact auto cheese board. Cheese boards are quite easy. They require nuts, no chopping, cheese, no chopping, apple chopping. So, I have a bunch of uh, items in front of me here, and I'm going to basically lay out my compact design for this, and then I'll explain how it works. Now, there are a couple different designs for this. Um, I find this one to be the most compact. It's basically a four by four space. Uh, you could stretch it out a bit differently, but this includes auto putting the boards uh, where they need to go and auto feeding them out onto a conveyor belt or onto a, a grabber, if it will. Um, this could be implemented in any sort of automation that, uh, that you have running. But again, sometimes cheese boards are a little bit difficult to automate. Usually people just do the apples and call it a day, but I like doing a little bit more than that. So. You, based on this design that I have, you're going to need three corner grabbers. You're going to need two regular grabbers, three combiners, a counter, a stack of uh, boards, your nuts, your cheese, and then your apples, and then a mixer. Now, if you don't have a conveyor mixer, um, the design will be one tile bigger because in, in lieu of this conveyor mixer, you'd have a mixer, and then you'd have another grabber here pushing uh, this way. So, again... Um, or you could even get away with the counter. Anyway, you'll see how it's laid out, and then you can make your your judgment on how you would how you would maybe change it. And again, I like to make my designs as compact as possible because that's the whole point of using these corner grabbers, right? Is you want you want to have compact designs. So again, this is going to fill a four by four area. Now you could probably uh, you could maybe stretch this out to a three by six. But you know what, again, we want to have compactness compactness here. Now, this counter here could be replaced by a grabber. I wouldn't remain I wouldn't re, I wouldn't re um I wouldn't recommend it, excuse me. Because sometimes grabbers and combiners, how they function when you're trying to put something onto them, especially from a mixer standpoint, it could jump around and it could skip a bit. So I don't recommend Doing that, I recommend doing something like a counter. I mean, you could even use a hob, some sort of flat surface that has to that things can combine on that won't be grabbed automatically, if that makes sense. And we have the last combiner here. So and you may say, well, you're combining onto here. We are, but we're bypassing this first double step because you're basically combining the boards onto the mixer that's pulling and chopping the apple. It won't combine until the apple's chopped. Instantly, it'll put a board on, and as soon as it hits this tile here, as soon as it hits this tile here, or the counter here, the nuts and the cheese will both automatically get put onto it at this stage, because as soon as it, hit, it hits here, the way the mechanics work is the grabbers are already pulling it as soon as it hits here, like it's a split second. So the way that this combiner combines is as soon as something is within that tile area despite it not visually looking like it is based on how the grabbers function or their or hitbox i guess uh you'll see what i mean now just to prove proof of concept i'm putting a, a bunch of other grabbers here just to show you that you could extend this because you may say oh what happens if it doesn't back up or if it does back up does it break and, and the answer is no it doesn't so these three even this one down here uh I, well you can't see it this one like these are completely optional uh, really, you wouldn't even need uh, that grabber up there. Has to go; doesn't have to go to something. It could go to another counter and have a couple lined up. But let's um, let's fire this. Let's fire this up. And again, you can go to your practice menu from your escape your escape screen. Excuse me, and let's watch it do its thing. So basically, the cheese and the nuts sit here. Instant, instant. See how the the nuts were instantly put on the cheese? Just watch the boom. See, as soon as it hits the middle of this counter over here. Boom, both things are automatically put on. It's because of the way that the grabber works. Because the grabber is pulling, as soon as an item enter, enters the counter space, the grabber is immediately pulling it. Now again, it turned the, it turned the board here for some reason. Uh, you wouldn't notice that normally because it'd be a split second, but again, you can just pull this away. It'll combine as it should, and then this will always turn. And the reason why this turns where the counter is, it's because of how the counter is facing. It always wants to line up a certain way based on where the knob is. That's the same thing with this. This wants to face this way, despite it coming across differently. Is how everything reacts that way. Just like on the on the uh, on the mixer here. You see how the mixer here has it facing this way, and then it turns. It's because of how it's facing. Uh, it's just a visual thing. 
Again, I can I can pull a couple more of these out, and again, that's all of our boards. And then when your board is is full is empty, so I'm gonna go dump this one real quick just to show you how that would work. Because the boards come back clean, you put it back on your stand, it goes back into the rotation. I'm gonna pull another one out of here just to show you how the rotation is working. And this this design works pretty flaw, pretty flawlessly. And you always have essentially two. And you may say, well, why did this middle one not get nuts put on it? It's because it can't, the action of it being pulled by this grabber isn't happening yet because there's something occupying this grabber's down here. It's something occupying this grabber's space. So grabbers are funny when it comes to pulling from other things is that it has to be completely clear. There can be nothing within the hitbox of this grabber when you get out of practice mode. There, there can be nothing within the hitbox of this grabber. Um, for it to occupy the space. The counters are the same way, except when you're pulling from a grabber because it's basically instant. And you don't, you can, I mean, you see a little blip, just like how the nuts are put on to the, the thing. The nuts are actually being put on, on here, but it doesn't visually look that way because of the way the grabbers behave. It's actually being, it looks like it's visually being put on the counter and then being pulled for a split second this way. But regardless, uh, aside from these three grabbers that are down here that don't, these are just for demonstration to show you how it works. We can run through it one more time. I'll let you guys look at it. The board gets pushed on. And like I said, the boards will push on before the apples will mix because of the speed of like grabbers or have a set speed. Combiners are instant. And the time it takes to cut up an apple is enough time for a new board to be put in place. Now, if you'd be using a rapid mixer here, it would still work because it's still instant. The only way it wouldn't work is that if you have all the boards spent and you're trying, and you don't have any boards here, what will happen is, a, is the apple will cut onto here and it'll automatically get pushed onto this counter over here and then your system will kind of break. Now, is there another way to do that? Yes. Um, I can show it to you now if you'd like, but I think for this video, we're just gonna leave it alone. And I guess the other way I would, would say is if you have another combiner that's facing out of this to push onto the counter, but again, it's very, very rare that you're gonna be going through more than eight cheese boards at one time. So based on what I just said is, this is my foolproof design of having something not break on you. And uh, yeah. Oh, I just <laughs> I took it out by accident, so I can't, I can't put it back. But there, yeah, there you go. It's pretty straightforward. And unless you run out of boards, you're going to have a problem. But again, is how can you run out of eight boards? The only way you're going to run out of eight boards is if you're serving more than eight tables at one time. And that's a pretty hefty run. Now, again, if you're automating these, sending these through an automation setup, uh, I wouldn't recommend doing this because of how the glitching will be based on how things combine. But again, unless you run into that situation, which I've never seen anybody serving that many cheese boards, you won't have a problem. Anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me. This is a nice little uh, compact four by four, you know, ignore these ones, of course, a nice little four by four design of making automating cheese boards. So thank you guys for joining me. If you enjoy my content, please consider leaving me a subscribe. And if you like this video, especially please leaving, please consider leaving me a like as well as a comment. I always Respond to my commenters either with a thumbs up, a heart, or a personalized comment right back. And I always enjoy interacting with my supporters and my fans. So thank you guys once again. And I'll catch you guys in the next Played Up Halloween Update Compact Automation Video. Which is always a mouthful, but that's the way it is. Thanks guys. Take care now.